The definition of unselfish is willing to put the needs or wishes of others before one's own. A Nampa teenager knows that meaning well. He's taking on more than a service project. It's an act of love. Knowing all too soon, he will have to say goodbye. Instead of just like having time to prepare, it's just one day like, oh yeah, we're getting a puppy tomorrow. When the call came in, Dylan Gish answered. The Nampa teen didn't hesitate when he heard about an urgent need. As he waited, anxious and excited at the Boise Airport cargo hold, the 14-year-old already knew how this precious package would change his life and even more importantly, someone else's. Oh, she's shivering. Susan is the Gish family's sixth puppy they've raised for Canine Companions for Independence. The nonprofit provides highly trained assistance dogs free of charge to people with disabilities. But before that happens, Hi there. Dylan and Susan will be inseparable for the next 18 months. They also become part of a larger Canine Companion chapter here in Boise. What? Fast forward four months, and Susan is fitting in well with her extended four-legged Treasure Valley family. This group is a mix of dogs, some still being raised for their future companions, and others already working with their forever friend. It's a big commitment, and uh, but it's also really fun. If teenage boys are willing to really put their heart into this and help someone that they don't even know, that they could potentially never meet even, so it's just, it's, it's really heartfelt, it's, it's incredible what they do. Dylan and Susan attend weekly training classes, and at this point, Dylan admits there's a lot of work to be done. My mom had some furry slippers and she just barked at them for an hour and a half. You'd never really think that she'd go on to possibly like help somebody in a wheelchair, like open doors and stuff. And that's just the beginning of what Susan will learn. Speak. These canine companions are so smart, they even hold their own leash. Girl, you're so cute. You can clearly see the bond these two are developing, and yet even though Susan is man's best friend, she's not meant for this young man. Like after a year and a half of just loving on them and thinking that they're yours, in reality, they're not gonna be yours for most of their life, but just to be a part of their journey all the way up, that's a great part. It makes you feel good. <laughs> Sweet, huh? So after 18 months, Susan will go back to California for intensive training. And if she passes all of that, Dylan will be invited to hand over her leash to Susan's new owner. Don't worry. I plan to follow Susan's journey the whole way and share it with you.